Welcome to our flipped video on decimals on a number line. So we're going to learn how to order and compare decimals. Please let me know if you have any questions or let your teacher know if you have any questions and please have your recording sheet in front of you. So let's get this started. In order to place decimals on a number line, first you have to figure out what the number line is counting by. Here's the great part about decimals. Remember I told you in the last video, either it's going to be a tenth or a hundredth. So in between zero and one, because remember decimals represent part of a whole, not a whole number, but part of a whole number. And as you can see, here's the decimal to the right. This is the part of the whole. And to the left, that's the whole number. And there is not a whole number. So we are looking for numbers less than one, which is why our number line goes from one all the way down to zero. The great part is, is that this number line is going to count by tenths. And the reason I know that is because I'm dealing with the tenths place, not the tens place, but the tenths place. And so right here I know I'm dealing with the tenths place and there's ten lines here. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that means this is one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and ten tenths. Great. So now I know what it's counting by. So, I'm going to move these onto the line. I like to number my line, so I'm going to label this one tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, and nine tenths. And this would be one whole, or it's actually ten tenths. So now I know exactly where to put my numbers on this number line. That one's going to go there. Three tenths is going to go here. And eight tenths is going to go here. That's how easy it is to order decimals on a number line whenever you know what it's counting by. Again, I'm dealing with tenths, so I pretty much know what this number line is counting by. I'm going to number it again. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and ten tenths, or one whole. It says write two decimals that fall between two tenths and eight tenths. Well, three tenths falls in between there, and seven tenths. What is this on the number line? Well, again, it's probably going to be a decimal, so I'm going to count by my tenths again. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, well, maybe, but I'm going to keep going. Seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, ten tenths. So yes, this is going to be six tenths. Also, if I were dealing with hundredths, I could put a zero back here, and that makes that sixty hundredths. So six tenths or sixty hundredths. It's the same thing. I just put a zero on the end. Now I have one whole. So I know for sure that that's going to go there, because that's one whole. Going to number my number line again. And then I know where my five tenths is going to go and my four tenths. What is this one? Well, I'm going to number my number line again. Always remember to number your number line. So important. And that is one tenth. Okay, now this is where it gets tricky. Now I'm counting by t um, hundreds. I'm including tenths and hundreds. I know that there's one, two, three, four spaces here. 
And if you think of anything that's in fours and you're dealing with decimals, you need to think of it like money. Okay? So if I think of it like money, then I know that this number line is going to count by 25 hundredths. 25 hundredths, 5 tenths, or 50 hundredths. This is going to be 75 hundredths, and that would be $1 or um, 100 hundredths. So anytime you are dealing with decimals and you get to 4, that means that it's going to be counting by quarters. And if you want to represent this with a fraction, this would be 1 fourth because 1 out of 4 of a dollar is going to be a quarter. This is 2 fourths or 50 cents. And this is 3 fourths or 75 cents. That's just a little bit of a bonus. We'll get into that a little bit later. But I just wanted you to know that I could represent this decimal as a fraction with fourths. I can also represent it as 25 hundredths. This one I can represent it as 50 hundredths or 5 tenths. And this one I can represent it as 75 hundredths. Now my number line has gone and gotten a little cray cray. My number line got a little cray cray right here. So I'm going to talk to you about how to do this. There's lots of dashes on here, but all I have to do is get to the first whole number. So it's whole number between whole number. So I'm going to count this. One tenth, two tenths, three tenths, four tenths, five tenths, six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and this is ten tenths. Then this is one and one tenth, one and two tenths, one and three tenths, one and four tenths, one and five tenths, one and six tenths, one and seven tenths, one and eight tenths, one and nine tenths, and twenty tenths, which is two holes. Now I can place my numbers on my number line after I labeled it. It's so much easier once you just label the number line to be sure. It's like a check and double checking, but it's also being sure that you um, have your answers where they need to go. Super important. So, what is this going to be? Well, I know this is one hole, one hole and one tenth, one hole and two tenths, one hole three tenths, one hole four tenths. One whole five tenths, one whole six, one and seven tenths, one whole and eight tenths, one whole and nine tenths, and twenty tenths. So that's one whole and five tenths. I can also represent this as a fraction in two different ways one whole and five tenths, or one whole and fifty hundredths. Okay? The great part about decimals is when you say it, when I'm saying tenth, it sounds like ten. So I know my denominator is going to be a ten. If I say hundredth, I know it's one hundred. So my denominator is going to be one hundred. It's great whenever you do it that way. So, now I'm going to talk about how to represent money. We all love money, right? Yes. So I'm going to talk about how to represent money. So, I'm going to make this a little bit smaller so that you can see. So, um, I'm going to talk about this with money, which I talked about before. 72 cents or 72 hundred, hundredths. So that's going to require two quarters, 50, 60, 70, 1, 2, 72 hundredths. 34 hundredths is going to be 10, 20, 30, 1, 2, 3, 4. I can also write it as 34 hundredths of a dollar or 72 hundredths of a dollar. So that's one hole and 51 hundredths or one dollar and 51 cents. There's my one dollar. 51 cents. 
Here's my $1. 75, 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 84 cents. So that would be one hole and 84 over 100. This would be one hole and 51 hundredths. And that's it for our flip video today. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me or ask your teacher. Um, ask your teacher if you have any questions or you don't understand this video or you need some help with your homework. And happy flipping!